What's up, guys? Welcome to episode four of the Fox podcast. We're not even going to name the old name anymore. We still do not have a permanent name, but we're just going to go with the Fox podcast for now. Chatterbox. Shut it. No. RV Chatterbox. We're not saying, we're not even going to say that. Anymore. Okay. okay. That went out with the old. We're okay. in with the new now. Copy that. Yeah. There's no new though. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Shh. That's the name of the uh, podcast. Shh. 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 Shut up. It's not the name. <coughs> um, this we... is a weird name for a podcast. Shut the <laughs> up. No, you can't. Dude. What? <laughs> no f bombs in the first few minutes. All right. All right. Blur. But that's, 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 that's the whole out. trend of the Bleep podcast. Those out. Those out. Yeah. The, that's the whole trend of the podcast. He does drop an f bomb early. How fast can he uh, just drop something quick? No, I'm gonna be good for the rest of this podcast. I won't say any swears. Let's not be ridiculous. I got it. Lowest views. Lowest views podcast. We uh, <laughs> we have we were on a small hiatus. I went home, came back. Uh, we moved around a lot. Since we recorded last, I think we've been to three places. Really? Yeah. I don't even remember the last time we. Re- I remember the last episode. Like, I remember it, but I remember where we were. Where we were. Moonshine. Yep. Mm. So we've been we've been a few places since then. Have we? Yeah. Yeah. We left Moonshine and went here, didn't we? No. No. Where'd we go? I forgot. We were at Blue Grotto. Oh we, yeah. We were at Blue Grotto. That's right. Yes. And, and then from Blue Grotto we came here. In Blue Grotto we were going to go to another place and then. And we then we just it. yeah we decided to come here instead to do here. this uh, dive, mm-hmm. and, which uh, by the way they've asked uh, the dive that we did today they just asked that we don't talk about it yet. Yep. We we will leave it at that, but yes, until it's a thing. That's all I have to say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is cold, like wicked cold, for Florida. I'm a Colorado guy, and it's cold here to me. Yeah. It's, it's not like the temperature is not okay. Forties today. Yeah, it was. It was. Like, I don't. I didn't move to Florida for forty. No, it was thirty, like low, low thirties overnight last night, and forty when we woke up this morning, and did not warm up. That's so, cold if you're uh, watching in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yeah, Celsius. I don't know what that is. I mean, if you're watching in Celsius, yeah, you, it's still cold. You still mm-hmm. have to you convert it to whatever you want. It's cold. It's cold Just to the point where me. we're wearing jackets and hoodies, and it's. I always uh, wear this though. Yeah, that that's kind of your go-to. I I never wear a hoodie, so it's cold. Yeah, Trevor started I, a couple my moo style. Yeah. But he got this like light, this like the really uh, light blue moo which is cool. For a girl. It did not look as cool. For a girl. I mean, actually, no, I like it. I like no, that it, color. It was less cool when we had to go to the Redneck gas station the other day. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and you were in like tie dye socks and a, I had pink, and a baby blue moo I had pink floral scuba socks on. Because all scuba socks are like, they're not real socks. They're just like, no, it's like lycra. It's, it's just, just fabric sewn together, yeah. cool, cool patterns sewn together in colors. So I was in very, a, very floral. Yeah, I was in pink floral scuba socks and my blue muumuu. And I don't think about it when we're just with us. I, I never, it doesn't concern me. I don't think about it. Then we walked into other people's public, and I was like, oh. well, the public <laughs> in North Florida is not necessarily as. Uh, Eccentric as the public in San right. Diego or San Francisco, or, or even down in Miami. I could have walked around Miami like that, and people would have been like, or anywhere else. Yeah, <laughs> up here, no any major metropolitan. City. In Miami, you're just like dressed like a normal person. Yeah, yeah. you would have been fine. Up here, we're more Bible there's a lot belty. Of, yeah, there's a lot of old uh, thinkers up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a nice way of saying racist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. My ringtone is a Spanish Spanish song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he always got deported. Yeah, again. Dude, today, today I was uh, doing the propane and and the ring. The phone just starts going off. It's my dad, so I pick up the phone and I just start talking Spanish. And I'm like, oh, like you almost ta? didn't get propane. Yeah, I'm like, oh, like almost And as soon as I said that, side eye, Pfft. guy was staring at me. Yeah, he was like, hmm. yeah, we're we're definitely in the Bible Belt part of Florida, and that's the nicest way to say that. But that's why we stay in RV parks. Yeah, we we. We find our own little areas. I mean, in this park, we only moved three times before we found somewhere comfortable. It's not a lot of people going don't to even, church around us. <laughs> no. Yeah, don't, don't even get Including me started. <coughs> I, I unhooked my trailer every single time. Yeah, because... Every single time. How do you not have the patience? If you see that Pat's uncomfortable and, like, unsettled in a place... I'm just getting us all together in one right, spot. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not discounting that at all. At all. I, I just, should have I, I know just known. you very, very well. And when I see that you're unsettled or unsure about a spot, the last thing I'm going to do is start unwinding all my gear. 
Yeah, true. Harvey unwound, disconnected his trailer, had his sewer out, had his water. I did too. Everything. I had water and power. No, no, out. no, no. The f- the first time. Oh, the, the first, first time, time yeah. I I opened up the whore V. Yeah. I took the bike out. I had the generator in there. Opened it up. Did the shit pipe extremely well. Just made, made sure, sure it was we locked. go to a place that we just confirm that's you know where we're gonna plop. Yeah. yeah. No. So then we I, find out there's a 21 plus section. I mean, all they can do is. But I finished. Great move. I finished, and the first thing I go to Trevor's. You're not going to sit up? And he's like, not yet. <laughs> Three minutes later, he's like, we're moving. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I was on Instagram Live the second time, and I was just talking to the fans, and then Raven's like, we're moving. And I'm like, you're fucking shitting me. Hey, really with the F-bombs? Sorry. You're, it was like, you're you're messing, you're messing around. No. And he, they're like, no. And I had just finished doing well, the same thing again. It was, the second move was a lot easier. also a very good move, because up where we were, and not that I mean we don't ever want to see fans or do anything, but we were we were surrounded by younger, like teens that just they didn't, fine. Just they not didn't fine. have. A, it's just not fine to knock on your door and look in your windows. They just didn't understand the boundaries. Like they yeah. were the kind of guys that were standing outside of the RV one yeah, at a time. Yeah, good. Yeah, no. The best the best part is that later it's on, not annoying. One of the security Having guards your windows looked in. Yeah, yeah, one of the security guards then tells me that those specific people are like the menace oh, of, of this course. whole park. Well, any kids they, that live in no, an RV can, park, yeah. they the I would be the menace in this RV park. They took, I am the menace in this RV park. I'm the new menace. Yeah, they're, they're like 13. They took their dad's key, backed their truck into someone's water line. Oops. Did it when? At like at 3 in the morning. Yesterday? Like two days before. Oh, shit. Oops. So he was like, so he's like, right before you guys got here, it was like 3.30 in Maybe the morning. Should, uh, got the emergency call. Maybe we should have stayed over there and hung out with those kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like fun. I bet they know how to wreck a golf cart. Just saying. Just give them the keys and the camera. <laughs> Don't bring it back. Yeah. You bring the camera back. Yeah, definitely bring the camera back and all the footage. But anyway, that's that's put us here. We've had some really cool uh, situations happen for us over the last couple of days. We we got permission because you were proactive in the right direction, and you got permission for us to go to a previously undived hole. Still undove. Yeah. Still kind of working our way into that cave. It's beautiful. Two, two systems now. Yeah, it's two beautiful. cave systems. One cave system that was previously explored and then shut off to the entire community, and then we were the first allowed in the system. Fifteen years. In fifteen years. So Which we're doing good things for the community. We're really we're open. Good. We're opening it up, and what's opening it up is fans of the show, their grandparents and parents. Yep. Are the landowners, and it's kind of giving us a foot in the door, and they're like, "Hey, no, like." Actually, check it out. You know, let them come yeah, over and like, hang no, out. No, no, these guys are really cool, and and it's worked out really well. To be perfectly transparent and honest, too, when people when you get the opportunity to actually look someone in the eye and talk to them, they can see your heartfeltness in wanting to do this, not because you want to be you know crazy and outlandish and do things. Yeah, you know, like we would do on on the other show. Right. This comes from a pureness in your heart where you really want. Well, this is fun. Yeah, to, adventurous. To, to, to adventure and discover these caves and be the first people in, and we're also looking to do things to better things for those landowners. That cave today was really cool. Today was high flow, ridiculous cool. High flow. Yeah, I didn't want to come out. No, we're gonna. Uh, I have a fifties full of nitrox. And that's only like 15 feet deep, mm-hmm. so I think we bomb bomb those 50s first tomorrow. Yeah, and then go to the other hole. Did it look like when when it, when it got to the gold line? Uh, when did it come? When was there like a non restriction so you could do it? Is there? A, we, we have to. I guess you don't know either. We need to find a. Uh, we need to see how far it goes before you can have a non restrictive kind of tandem turnaround because. Uh, we know that there's a collapse somewhere right. a few hundred feet in there. so Which we, I mean, realistically, we may want to just have Cam we, go. We keep doing what we've been doing. Side and like, mount? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Oh, oh, yeah, but did you call him? Is he coming tomorrow? Yeah, he's coming. In the morning? Yeah, he, he didn't know which one we were going to first, so I said. Is he wicked excited? To... He's pretty excited. Did you tell him we got to the gold line? No. I was saving some things because I want to see his face. I want to call him right now and tell him we got to the gold. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I want to. I want to see his face. You told him there was a cave, though. Yes. You told him like, we got in. I told him we went, and he's like, "How far did you guys go?" You know, like Big Brother Cam. He's tell like, him gold line. And uh, I said, you know, we we went in twenty thirty feet and could see two directions, which 
for us is exactly what we should have done. We're yeah. both in back mount. Neither oh, we, and it wasn't. We, we didn't penetrate it all at once. No, it we was, like because we like, didn't. Yeah, it was like uh, go check in. I look. I went in and I looked around. Then I brought Trevor. I was like, hey. Come in here, look around. Do you think I should go further? And he's like, yeah, I think you should go further. And I was like, okay, I think I should go further too. <laughs> yeah. And so then I went in and then I came back and I was like, okay, I think it's pretty cool. You should go check. And then he went in and checked a little bit further. Then he came back and I was like, he's like, you need to, you need to go see this. I was like, all right, now I'll go in. So we kind of just kept going back and forth, right. passing, you know, like checking it off. Like, all right, I'm, I'm still comfortable. Are you still comfortable? Yeah. We're both, we were both feeling pretty good about it. You know, we Except didn't lose effing freaking primary that, reel i have is just reel. a piece of shit i don't know shit. why that reel doesn't work because it has a trap on it it's just yeah. such a piece of shit it definitely has a line trap it does not dive right us. reels are Questionable. garbage I, right now to me well, right now to me we'll, we'll figure it out and why are people so I, I hate dive right reels right now i think uh you suck i think sometimes a, like brand new equipment especially like reels yeah it's just not it's, it's never good you got to like unwind it like five or six that's times why i prefer my finger spool yeah I, I went in with spring, finger spool. Yeah, that's how. And I it did was it. great. Yeah, it was great, great. That's actually it was actually nice to just lay the lay the primary line, and then clip we just off. tied off. We just clipped off to that, and then that actually worked out really well. Yeah, because we both had our own individual line going in. Yeah, one at a time. One, one at a time. We didn't not put two lines, two lines no, in the cage. God, we did not put two lines at the same. <laughs> we just he went in. We just ran a bunch of line in there and just just it reeled actually, it in. And it said, looked we're like need a all spider this. web, so that we we're couldn't actually, get we lost. We actually go in with it on the line like a rope. <laughs> I just use a uh, a rope from Home Depot. <laughs> and you throw it over your back and let it unspool. The good thing about that gold line is that it it looked like it was pointed in the proper direction in mm -hmm. which it was set. So I'm hoping that I mean it's obviously going to get to a, a, at least one more tie off before uh, that collapse because it didn't because it didn't yeah, look like it, it wasn't was, beaten down yeah it wasn't yeah, yeah. disturbed it didn't it was look like it was pointed up yep like up into the into a, a room or something off to the the one off to the left. left yeah yeah oh and when Cam comes tomorrow we'll have the the map yes which will really he does help. have the the, the map because he's actually. Um, He's on the team that got the original permitting for the cave. He has permitted to go in that cave. So you, they're, they're looking here, like the resort itself. They're looking for one of those maps. When you guys were underwater. No, they, ha they, ha they, have, they have, have the wall map. They just they didn't know exactly map. where yeah. they placed it. Yeah. They were looking for a video. Yeah, yeah we, have the, we have the map. Yeah, the, the guy even told me today. He's like, oh, if, if uh, they find the map, let them know. Yeah, well, we found it already. We got the map. We, the map's not a problem. But that kind of brings us back up to speed. I'm really excited about the second hole as well. Um, it's just that one's going to take days before we really get to poke our heads into it. Yeah. It's like kind of a one one man show getting access. Yeah, that we're work, we're working this cave that's uh the entrance to well the the, the hole itself is 100 feet by 100 feet. It's freaking huge. And when we it's get in beautiful. there, we're going to lay the verge we're going to lay the virgin line. And then that's the second cave that only our team has the map to. Yeah, we're the only ones that have had eyes in it. We only we're the only team that knows the details of it, where it is, the map, which is kind of cool. It's like it, as a dive team, we have like two our, already. Our little treasure trove is our maps. Yep, and it's you know they're physical maps. And the, I like the physical maps better than the digital maps, just because it's just the di the cave diving community is very. Um, underfunded, and so there's not a lot that goes on, and we have such big ideas, and you have such like thoughts about how like just going in and doing lidar, and reopening video the caves, and reopening, to, opening caves the caves to the whole community. Yeah, finding ways to get do a it. foot in the door first, do, then do, figure out what makes this property owner comfortable. Once we've gone in and done our exploration, our survey, our stuff, there you got some level of comfort, and then we go okay. What's your next level of comfort into getting the broader cave right. now community? Now that you've seen how into your the, land into should be land, treated yeah. and how things go. Yeah. And then help and help these landowners set up protocol. Right. Because a lot of them are, are scared of liability because cave diving, it's not the safest thing in the world. Right. But we can always set up protocol and here's the agencies you should accept and yeah. the type of cards you should accept. And Well, the, the dude who's here that owns the place, mm -hmm. he's a scuba diver. Yeah, they want, said, they want to go. They yeah, want to, be and, there. They and, want to go in. And, and the first just, thing, first thing he told me when you guys went down, he goes, "Those two are crazy." What? Yeah, because you guys went in there. So, I don't feel crazy. For did what our bubbles we did. disappear for very long? Did our bubbles no, go away? No, not at all. 
they kept trickling out of that mm-hmm. out of the cave. Yeah. yeah. So that was guys, a high flow, so yeah, the bubbles are pushing, so, pushing, so, pushing, pushing. So the guy, the guy was like, "Oh, they're still there," and I'm like, "They're not there," because I saw your fins disappear. Yeah, because yours are so bright yellow. Right. And I was like, "Dude, I've been watching him. They've been there for two, three minutes. They're gone. They're yeah. not there anymore." If we not, were like, swapping fins. We, yeah, we were, we swa- were swapping we were, we were, spots. One yeah. person was going in, and one person was holding the entrance, and then the, we were swapping in and out. We didn't really want two people inside. We did, yeah, we didn't want to both go in because a it was, it was we hadn't some, been it wasn't. Te- no, it was technically a restriction. You cannot fit two divers side by side. So right. yeah, it was a restriction entrance. And it was very sedimenty on the bottom. It was silty on the bottom, but the flow was coming out. So it great did not, flow. That's the flow what's was, great about exploring that one is that yeah, it's going to clear up immediately. Yeah, you you might you, the, the when you come out the 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 shit is like in the cat. It's like the it's like ten feet of cavern in garbage. Zero visibility on the way out. And then right the, to the, the cavern is yeah. gone, but yeah, you're right out. Everything that matters is is visible. Yep, the flow keeps it clean. We'll find out what it's like, but it should be no different I don't as we so. go further yeah. into the cave. It and should get possibly get a lot stronger if there was a collapse and the and the flow was restricted, restricted then it's which would push. cause that flow to be even yeah. thicker, uh, crazier on that side. And Harvey, the reason that I actually got those yellow fins is because I'm very partial, like Pat, to black, black and gray, black, black, black. In scuba, when we're going in caves, I want the brightest something on me so that my team, if they're flashing a light, if you know, if there's any question, they're like, "Oh, there's those fins." Yeah, you're really easy to see. That's one thing I should do. I should put some color on my gear. Yeah, well, your white, your white fifties, I can see really well. Yeah, that's what I look for on you, and I know on me, it's it's my yellow, yellow fins. You, I'm gonna you, invent. I'm gonna invent like some type some type of better lighting system. I was thinking today mm-hmm. of a cave light. And people are like you, how could like there's so in high flow caves? Oh, let the propulsion. Let the propulsion yeah. feed the light. It's it's just like a turbine. Yeah. Water is going by. Cave green. light. I mean, then you'd have to drill it into something and you do not want to disturb anything. But what if it was a cave light on a line? Like, like on gold, a gold What line. if the gold line was like a a, a gold a glow rope, stick? A glowing rope. Like that would be the best. Like a high lumen, like a fibrous glass it like it requires a like, flow of like a nine mile an hour flow. I'm right here. Yeah, because if you have a gold line and you're running that line at 300 feet, mm-hmm. and you have like some kind of like little tiny, I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a no mark rober. Just a cool idea. Yeah, no, that would be cool. <laughs> that that I mean, that's obviously the one of the biggest things in cave diving is darkness yeah. and blackout and not you know not being able to see your partners because I mean if there's a little silt out. We we saw it yesterday and we we're putting the dye in. Small silt out. I had my hand on your wing. I was that close to you. And with my light, I could not see your valves. That's wild. It's like zero more than less than six inches. Yeah. I mean, we were this that close together. Well, that went into talking about diving for a while. Yep. Sorry about we that. We sure guys. do love scuba diving. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awesome. <laughs> it's actually 19 minutes. Yeah. Of scuba diving time. 1834. This is Dive Talk. <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> no, it's not Dive Talk. Dive Talk no. reacts to other videos. By the way, if Dive Talk, uh, are you going to react to our K videos? Probably. I, I mean, are you going to put some strokey stuff out there? Oh. A stroke is a diver who dives with, like, um, unnecessary equipment. Unnecessary. Just does not the right stuff. stuff. Yeah. I almost want to just put things on my person. Just put a cave snorkel. Uh, I will put dive. A snorkel. I'll put a snorkel on for the next okay, couple we should, dives. We should actually make a snorkel that says "Cave, cave Snorkel." <laughs> we need someone that makes the the snorkel covers, like the the, or like cave spare. It says "Cave Spare Air." <laughs> <coughs> Snorkels yeah. aren't a thing that cave divers use. Oh, that's hilarious! But we've seen it. Yeah, we've seen it. Um, Although. Sorry. Okay. So a lot of t- can we talk one more one more dive to- one, more one more dive topic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, helmets in the dive community. Everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't wear helmets. Don't shouldn't need to wear helmets because your buoyancy, your trim should prevent you from from colliding. You that was it? training. That was a training accident. It was. Okay. Should prevent you from colliding with you know whatever. If you're in a blackout situation, well, that kind of goes out the door. But you're still putting your hand in front of your head. Right. However, today when we were doing exploratory, uh, pioneering style. Virgin Cave Discovery, or this wasn't a Virgin Cave. This, this is just someone had been in 15 this years in, right? Born again Virgin. Right. So we have, we're task loaded with some things. I really wanted my light on my helmet. 
Yes. Really bad. And I was trying to angle myself the best way I could to get light on. Yeah, because I'm trying to get video situ- for the I'm trying to get video. For and you were trying owners, to get the reel. Trying to manage the reel at the same time and trying to manage the light. Yeah. And then I I can't do notes. Yeah. I was trying to give you light because I saw that you were task loaded. I was like, what can I, I can help him with one thing. And that's, I can illuminate what he's looking at right now. Yeah. But as soon as you got past the restriction, I was on the outside and I was no longer really a benefit to you in that aspect, but you had three things going on. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've seen guys with the lights on their helmets and people do make fun of them a lot, but sometimes I'm like, there, there, there's a, for my OTS, mm. for my OTS mask, there's a, a light attachment. I think I'm going to, we need to, we should look at that up tonight after the podcast. Yeah. Some helmet lights just for the particular task of pioneering. If if that's the strokiest thing that we do, I think I'm probably if okay. we're open, if we're using. No, no, no. It's not strokey. If we're doing it for for surveying and to yeah. get into a place to open it up so everyone else can go enjoy it the proper sure. way. You know, hey, we're not in there. You know, the shit this we, we do get collapsed. On. I had a boulder follow me. There's there is a there is a reason why. Why in pioneering you have bubbles, you, hmm. why in pioneering you should use a helmet. Unknown, in, we'll call it unknown environments. The only, the only drawback I see to it is we have to be very aware when we look at each other mm-hmm. because our lights will, yeah, blind. Oh, no, they always out. blind. Yeah, because we're always yeah. like having to tweak down. Mm-hmm. But when we're going, yeah, but we could always have it. Yeah, when we're going in to do that. I mean, I'm still gonna have to my the, torch to, to that motion. Yeah, yeah, I'll still have my torch, but yeah, so I really liked my backup torch today. Do you notice I lost my? I told you my primary yeah, light broke. Primary light went down. Yeah, and I found out that one of my latches was unsealed, so I got to check my battery. Oh. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but primary. Your light. secondary light was like a stadium light. I know. I'm really happy I paid blue. 500 bucks for that. It's a nice light. Yeah. We carry $3,000 in lights on us to go in the cave each. There's six grand in lights. Just, just between the two of six us. Six lights. Yeah. Dive lights are expensive. Everything. Uh, Everything with dive If you want to be just a guy that goes and jumps in salt water and sees some fish swim, it's not. It's expensive, but not that expensive. Between us, we have like 40 grand in gear. Probably. Yeah, this is an expensive hobby, dude. Yeah. That but the BC- cool thing about cave diving and cave pioneering, and the reason that it is still a pioneering, why you can still pioneer it is because there's so few people certified, interested, qualified, motivated in the world and to do it. And financially able. And yeah, so if you wanted... Well, you know what? Financial. It, when it comes to scuba, financial ability is is a concern in the init, in the initial sure. initial stages. But if you do have financial concerns, best advice is to become an instructor, an open water instructor, and go get paid eight hundred bucks, nine hundred yeah. bucks per student, whatever. It I think is. that's most. I think most cave guys are instructors at places. Yeah, and you have to be an instructor. I'm gonna. I'm get, going for my instructor because I want to be able to pay for. <laughs> I want <laughs> students to pay for my gear. I'll teach people. You bring other people into the sport, well, and I, you get better gear. I mean, it, it feeds I, the whole economy. I think most people gear up a lot slower than like we were. Like we want to do this. Well, the, well, some people, yeah, but I mean, I started in 06. I geared up. Right, but I'm I, talking I just about cave. From, yeah, just, I mean, that's just jumping from open water to cave. We just right. go from uh, singles to, we went to, from jack and inflate to back mount uh, or back inflate and uh, from doubles. singles to doubles. And then, you know, added another dive watch and added all this other fancy dry suit, all this, this fancy other yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, the barrier for entry is not cheap. You still haven't uh, I know. I, I'm, swallowed the dry suit pill yet. I'm thinking about it. You're not cold. I don't get cold, though. That's the if thing. If you don't get cold, why would yeah. you do a dry suit? Um, I'm shivering. Th- oh, buoyancy is nice, yeah. Because it, it ha- like, keeping me trim. It helps. That's the, on- that's the only reason I would get a dry suit. It is helps because the legs. Because my legs tend to drag a little, like, yeah. sag down just a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've gotten better. I moved my wing around a little bit and I think I've, I've got a better pitch to myself right now, but I know with a dry suit, just that little bit of you air. You just want a dry suit. I know you want a dry suit. Well, I want to dive one once and, and check it out. You it's should. Just, oh, it's yeah. so... Is your feet... If you, you have smaller feet than no, I do? yeah. We have the same fly speed. Too. No, you have smaller feet than I do. Barely. Well, it's good because it'll fit, you'll fit in the dry suit that I have. Yeah. You should try it tomorrow. I, I, I definitely want to try it. It's just watching you guys get dressed... Oh, it's easy. <laughs> that dress is so easy to yeah. put on. It's just nice because you're in your pajamas. Yeah, pajamas. I broke nice. my DUI pajamas. My zipper broke. It did? Lost a tooth. And $300 pajamas. Yeah. All right. 24 minutes of... Who wants to learn how to die? <laughs> scuba time. <laughs> um, we, we try to aim, or our intention is to aim for about 30 minutes. 
We were really interested in this tonight, apparently. I know, because... <laughs> I, I well, really love talking about... And Harvey over here. Did you know Harvey's here? <laughs> He's actually, actually said a few things. I've actually spoken <laughs> he, more in this podcast it, it, than I have have in, like, three episodes. I don't know about you guys. The time <laughs> flew by for me. Yeah, 20, it did. 25 minutes went really, really fast. It flew it by. Really did. I, I even have topics and questions save that, for next that time. I can save, because I, I, I mean... We were talking about we were, we got a cool, we had fun we had some cool sites that we had come up yeah um you should take just for a note maybe take some of the GoPro footage and uh, we Splice. can't show we can't show where the cave is or what no, cave it is no but we can show inside yeah we can we can show some underwater yeah, show stuff. them some stuff yeah. some exclusive stuff because on my channel things might you know go a little less foggy or something I don't know you never know I don't know what's gonna happen we don't well we don't know what you're gonna use and what you don't use did you like, mail my keys off I did. Your so, keys, your keys are mailed. When will my Tahoe be here? Well, the keys get there tomorrow. Yep. As soon as he gets it, if he gets it tomorrow early, yep. he'll head down to the keys, grab the Tahoe, mm -hmm. and then the next morning he'll start making the drive up here. And where's your gear? In his Tahoe. My, where's the keys for his Tahoe? He has them. Right? Yeah, the tow truck driver actually has them right now. Okay, so he so. can go in his and get the gear out. Is all I think all my gear's in mine. Should be. Yeah. But what what would you need? Your vest. Yeah. Your gun belt. Vest and gun belt. Vest and gun belt. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I'll have them FaceTime me. And my badges, yeah. And good thing good thing that this guy's related to me. So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we need all that stuff. The only thing For is the caves. That my stuff my stuff is all in my For house. scuba police. We're the scuba police. It's a good <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing it on dry land, sir? Because all the scuba police. <laughs> <laughs> full face. <laughs> That's the other thing that I'm definitely jealous of. Full face? Yeah. Um, benefits fifty to one have in a, yeah. yeah. I'm actually thinking about ditching my full face for uh, going back to mask for ex for pioneering such situ situ situations because, well, actually, it would be uh, nice me, for me, comms. Me, me, yeah, me, well, comms, yes, but let me clarify that for going in bedding planes. That's right. when I really did not like having my OTS on it was because I was already like having my head sideways to like crawl through here. Having to get that off and then trying to get to and get to the other one, I would, you know, I know I can do it, mm -hmm. but it would be very tedious. Yeah, I mean, my setup is very, very easy, very streamlined. You know, even like you've kicked my mask off the other day, you probably didn't even know it. Yeah, um, we've actually been through a lot of emergency so situations. Smooth. Yeah, in cave diving already in the, in the during training. Yeah. Training. I mean, situations that you, some situations that were intentionally put into, like the blackout situation and the black mask where you whacked your head and whacked we got my head, yeah. whacked off ass over tea kettle. But it's great that our instructor is really, really bringing us through the. He puts, he does I mean, it the, the old school. The training way. doesn't stop. The training doesn't stop. Everywhere we go, everything we continuous do, continuous training, something. continuous training. And I, continuous I training. love the fact that he is at old school, kind of like how we are with things. Where it's not, we're not wrapped in bubble tape. Yeah, you know, he's like, you're and gonna. He is not afraid to rope like, me in. Here you go. Mm -hmm. He is not afraid to rope me. No, in. he tells you flat out. Yeah, he's learned. He's like, Pat, I love you. I know you want, but I'll grab your fin and drown your ass <laughs> <laughs> if you pass me yeah. in this game. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, and, and he's old school in the fact that he will, he will make us get lost. Yeah, you know when we. I did, do feel way more comfortable. Obviously, when he's in front of me. Oh, yeah. Because I know, like, I know when he's in front of me, like, I'm way less task loaded. But, like, today, when it was me and you and we're going to the reel, I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm just, we're just double checking everything. But that's how I mean. Because he's so. How many like, times we look at each other, look at that? And if he was with us, yeah. obviously, with his experience level, the crazy thing, he was about, he would have been in. It would have been you, you hold. <laughs> he goes in. Thing. And he'd pop <laughs> back it, out and, and go, be like, come on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that that's which I, is how tomorrow is probably gonna go. Yeah, yeah. And I love, I love that part of our training, and I love that we're not. Um, people need to know we're not. It's not like we're getting the celebrity. People always think that oh, you're Patty Mayo. They push you through the. Mm -mm. No, nope. no. There's no. No, he. Thing. I mm. think he actually intentionally. He's gonna make it harder whole, because hard, I'm, it hardens because us he's, back. He's gonna be scrutinized based on my performance. Right. He's scrutinized in, as an instructor. Right. If the first time people think that it was a gift. And that we're not legit in our training, it How, you mean, devalues you can't, you can, him. Yeah, and you can't fake cave dive training. No, you can't fake. You cave know diving. it or you don't. You can't. Yeah, you either you, do it or you don't. You know it or you don't. I mean, yeah, you watch but, a video on someone going cave diving, and 
now that we have the knowledge that we have, you can look at a video and go, that guy they either knows it there. or, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. When we go into caverns, you're like, yeah, when we go into caverns that have... There's caverns that I watch people that I'm like, uh, they're going to panic. Yeah. Panic divers in caverns. Like, what happened to Devil's Den? Or the people that follow us around. And want to follow the line back in. Yeah. Yeah, which is why in cave diving, we uh, the gold line, which is the the permanent line inside of a cave, you never see it as a, an open cavern, water diver. Yeah. As a cavern diver and an open water diver, you should never see it. So it doesn't lure you in. Um, and that's why you, when you place a line that goes to the gold line, a temporary guideline, uh, usually it's in an inconspicuous spot, but today it had to be above water. Right. So we had to have Harvey stand outside the hole and make sure that nobody, nobody right decided yet. to go, Ooh, well, look at that. There's what? a string here. What does this string go to? <laughs> There's a line. I'm going to follow it. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. Cry. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Some, exactly. Some guy, yeah. Some Australian guy would come on and go, Hey. I could go in there. <laughs> they we're, went in there. I can go in there. We're in Florida, eh, mate? There ain't no 12-foot crocodiles in here. Yeah. We're really good at those Australian accents. We should uh, yeah. think about voice acting. Yeah, that was actually really good. The funny thing is, <laughs> the when when we were at this other spot, we had this Irish guy as I'm filming the whole entrance of Pat getting in. Oh, yeah. And this Irish dude. Where? Oh, yeah, lad, uh, down at the at Buford. Yeah, in Buford. Y'all going in the big hole. Guy gets in, guy gets into the water, it's like 72, goes, oh, it's so warm in here. It's so nice. It's like I could take a bath. He's in his, he's he's in no shirt. No shirt, shorts, just swimming. Dude. And you think he's, oh, you think Viking man. Well, well no, his wife got behind him. And so uh, did the other woman Is that when you guys use the cart? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, when, when I, I when was they out flipped, of town. Yeah, like two over. old women. Got in, they were like, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. Well, that's... I'm when, like, oh, you're crazy. I'm in a dry suit, lady. When we did our deep dive at Buford... <laughs> yeah. That, like... Oh, no, sorry. This was Jug. Jug. It was, it was that, Jug, that, yeah. was Jug. That, that NPC free diver who had, like, zero hair on his body. He had, like, the, the Fabio hair... He, I was Remember that he was, like, super buff and tan? Oh, that guy was kind of cool looking. I know, but it was, <laughs> it was like... How is that even possible? Like, yeah, but his we're like, in full gear and we're both like, oh, it's a little oh, chilly, but not was, bad. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He was in like a speedo. speedo. But this guy was, well, like, I don't know that being jacked makes you like impenetrable to the cold, but this guy had like the perfect body. Yeah, but the, the thing yeah. is that people, And he had a big, and he had a big, like, not a mermaid wig. Dolphin but fin. Big dolphin fin that he was practicing both with. Both feet in one. And I don't know if you noticed, but he was, uh, he had a bag. Under one of his arms, so I don't know what kind of medical uh, that condition that oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. But he's got that going on. So I was actually thinking to myself, I was like, because he had that, and it looked like a line pressure. And, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I was like, how does that deal with pressure? Those guys were going like a hundred feet. Yeah, they were going wicked deep. They were going deep, deep, deep. I don't want to be rude and ask about it. Yeah, Shit. he'd have probably been cool, but but he's with his friends and stuff. Yeah. I don't be like, hey man, what's the I don't know you. What's the bag on your arm? What's the bag, Can you bro? tell me your medical conditions? <laughs> right. <laughs> My name is Patrick. There's, what is your medical condition? There's no hippo in the in the cave. <laughs> there's not even a hippo in the cave. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we uh, we did one topic. Dive. We talked about. We're excited right now. We're having. A, I mean, there's times when we're mad at diving. This is not one of them. We are really, really. Nope. Finding and your boy upgraded to dive in eighty fives. And yeah, I walked down and up the hill with him, and now I'm like, Trevor, you, you a bit. <laughs> I didn't swear this whole time. Didn't yeah. even do it. How you like that? How you like that? Yeah, that was that was ten out of ten. How you like that? How you like that? Apples. Those eighty fives are heavy coming out of the hole, though. But huh? he just did a Harvey though, and he yeah. just like stared at me and started screaming. So there's no, there's, <laughs> you, you, you got no volume. Harvey, I apologize no because I know that you had some stuff to talk about, and I know that some of my topics were based on including or bringing you more into the conversation, but you see us from the top what side were you of gonna the talk about? Hmm? What were you going to talk about? What were you going to talk about? I got time for one more. What were you going to talk about? Oh, I, 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 I was, we were talking earlier about the, the quantum computers, and I was excited about that one because it kind of goes with uh, the AI topic. Oh, the, Grand the, Theft Auto and AI? Yeah. I, have, I had an AI piece, too. Yeah. I, I, wanted to talk about Grand, I wanted to talk about Grand Well, you can talk about Grand Theft Auto and AI. Well, Okay, let me before we get to Grand Theft Auto and AI. Did you see that the EU just signed the very first? I saw it. 
but I didn't I didn't read it or like know what it's about. Governing over AI. Um, some things I like, some things I don't. One thing is anything generated by AI in in the EU is now going to have to have an indicator on it. Yeah, we already have that, which is which is great. But America had that first. Uh, it's not. We had that like a month ago. Google implemented that like a month ago. Google. Well, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's bigger when you, the whole EU does it. But. Right, the EU did it. Also, um, some things I'm I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, they're they're going to try to make restrictions on what companies can use AI to do to protect the people. Anytime the government says they're going to protect the people, that's concerning to me. Uh, it means some kind of control in their favor. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm not a big fan of, but they are going to crack down on illegal things that can be created by AI. Yeah. I think we know what we're all talking about. Well, that's no fun. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you need to rethink about what he just said. <laughs> do you know what I'm it's, talking it's about? nothing to do with... What? No, okay, then no. Okay. Yeah. Using AI to make... Uh... Images things of things that people that... may want to see. Oh no, yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you want to take it's your actually, back? Yeah, it's actually a good honey trap right now, though for for uh, for p for, p file words for, for Peter Pan. I hope that a lot of law enforcement agencies are taking advantage of the fact that it's that you easy, can fish for Peter Pan. That you can fish for Peter Pan using these AI platforms instead of yeah, allowing. And I hope these AI platforms. Feed Peter Pan's IP address. Oh yeah, back. See, that's that's what's got to be in it, right? Yeah. Feed that information back because no one cares. To feed it back. Nobody cares about Peter Pan. If we're, mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're if you're just collecting. If you're if you're just if because like, I don't go to Never Neverland, right? Right. No. So like, go if you go to Never Neverland. Yeah. Like make Never Neverland like expose all your data and they get to share it with law enforcement soon, soon and everybody right. else and yeah. put you on billboards and the whole nine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with that part. Yeah. Yeah, break okay in. Yeah, yeah. I'll even put an app on my PC if it can go on everybody's PC. That's like, you know, explodes when yeah. you go to Never Neverland. It's like a mesh network. Yeah. If, if I mean, I use anti hacks because I don't like hackers yeah. or, or cheaters on games. Anti anti P should be built into our PCs. Yeah. Shouldn't it not? Should yeah, not just 100%. be built in. Should not just be physically built in because to our AI, PCs because AI could. Search images, anything that's on a PC or computer, it should yeah, automatically. It, yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm but not technology also, savvy. I'm not. We're not technology savvy. I mean, obviously, if it was on the PC, it would be easy to, to 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 bypass and whatnot. But it's good that AI is now able to add ways to identify these people. Yeah, and track them. The more the more we can do to protect young, in ways that they want to be able to identify the right. difference between law enforcement. And a non-law enforcement actor, right? Well, law enforcement. The law enforcement would be the actor and the non-law enforcement victim, right? I'd say. I, I'm all, I'm all for that part, 100. Yeah. percent I'm, uh, I just get concerned on the other pieces that when they want to govern over things and to protect the people scares me, but it is what it is. I think like, uh, you know, you can't have a beer in the United States till you're 21, right? Um, a, it's. It I mean, uh, I don't think it's a bad... I mean, everyone pays for internet and gets access to the internet. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe... Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's talked about before that the kids get a different internet. I truly a believe different, that there should be a different version. Because you can't, as of, a child, you can't... Sure, are there porn stores in every town? Yeah. Can't go in them. You can't walk in them. Right. You can go on the website or just get around it. Like, why? Why? Why are we just? Why are we? And it's not like it's the door's been open for like a long. And I'm a, not talking about just porn. I'm talking about things that like hurt kids, right? Anything things that, that, that mess them up, right? You know, and and the violence neg like, yeah, negatively influence them, like grotesque violence, influ things of that nature. negatively influence or influence them in any way. As a child, they should not be influenced right. on anything other than just learning, right, or whatever it, kids. Do we should be, be at a point where there's or there should be like a kids internet like and adults well, don't need to be on there well like it depends they don't need, uh, it, you don't need you don't need a, yeah. I don't know you, you don't need a soul you don't need a social platform that includes children and adults and well, ad I mean well it's, actually hold it's on hold on I, I, what about yeah. like my kids my kids talk at home yeah or I don't know I don't know there's plenty there's so many safety tools out there you know you'll never 
you never you'll never uh you never stop it or figure it all out but let's just say that ai is good in the sense that it's going to help mask law enforcement or an assessed law enforcement and tracking those types of people with with computers Identifying and, negative and technology that we have today getting online should almost be like a, a real id if you want to access the internet you have to like how do i open my mac yeah. fingerprint right there yeah it's like um how do you you know how do you get to you the know, internet you i have know to, boop. yeah and people say oh well they're tracking all our data well I, the telephone companies know who I phone. They're checking when I our pick data up my regardless. Phone, yeah, they know who I pick up, and I'm talking. I got my voice on there. That's that never. Stuff. That has never in my life been a concern. It'd be really. That would be awesome because then you'd be identify. Why is this 50 year old talking to a lot of 12 year olds that they're not related to? Right. Because mm -hmm. they're not in the. And parents could just be like, if you're not in the related thing, but it have to be like, again, it had to be like what this government. Actually another could, government agency either. or like another internet it had to be like an alternate internet right, right? and the and the households are like we're hey guys like we only use this internet we don't use the worldwide like the dark web i don't know how you get on that thing but i know that there's like another internet out there right. why can't there be a, a another good internet a white instead web. of a white web yeah but it's like <laughs> it's sanitized for the, young people and and Easily susceptible people because and, and don't make that racy, po folks. It's not uh, don't make it all racy because one is the dark web and one is the light we web, the white web, the, the hype web. Call it the pipe web. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, Call someone probably would try to take it and run with it, and that's definitely not. That, that's exactly why I started laughing. I'm like, oh, that's great. No, they want to I can't see the white internet. No god. <laughs> well, oh. it, that's already happened in like different countries. If you look at TikTok in China, yeah, we've talked about yeah, it. like racially but, segregated. No, like no. it's it's like or like TikTok in China for kids, it's a hundred percent different. Everything is educational. Not here sometimes though. Sometimes I feel like my stories uh, is recommend me a disproportionate number of white males. Probably because I'm a white male. Like sure, I don't know if it disproportionate. The algorithm finds what I mean. They're gonna but put in like, front of you, but I don't like. Like I, I probably watch everything about because I watch a lot of shorts mm -hmm. and I watch like the same ten YouTubers, right? But I don't like uh, like how does it determine? Like I don't know why it based on my profile. Yeah, does it look at my profile and go? It says well, why? Why doesn't it age, sex, location? Yeah, that's what it. That's you know, I guess the, yeah, the beginning I, of the algorithm is alg are those things. Location, yeah. Mm -hmm. They yeah. base it, you know, base it on that. Oh, he, people in his age range. But the only I would say, but. Pretty much all the black people that come up on my feed are my black friends that I follow. Right. Like I don't see like a lot of like suggested creators. Well, that's of just, different ethnicities, but I see a lot of my white shorts. People. My shorts and your shorts are probably somewhat similar, more similar than like if Harvey's shorts because he he's more like kind of that hype younger, trendier. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes he looks at TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we see, I I just is know, probably closer. Yeah, but there's a lot of uh, what you and I see is probably closer together than what you and Harvey see. I just so wish yeah, like, there was a setting the, to the make funny... it a little bit more open to like yeah, like show you me just things slide that you the bar. show me things that you don't think I'm interested in because I like today I want to explore. Right. I want to see what else is in the world. Yeah. This is a problem that I had. So, but what about culture too? Like, well, I guess I can go. I can go on YouTube and you can search Pacific Pacific culture, but you can't search. Like, I can't go and find like a list of Asian cuisine creators. Right? Like, there's no like, it be it would feel people would be like it's segregated, but like, no, they're creating Asian cuisine. Yeah, and that's what I want to see. Yeah, I didn't ask for Asians creating Asian cuisine. Yeah, I asked for Asian cuisine. Well, before before I was getting ready, just kind of looking through some things. I went I went to Google Trends. Mm -hmm. No idea what I was seeing. And then just completely as a shot in the dark, I went to TMZ. Yeah. And I scrolled their feed. Yeah. I maybe knew 5%. Pull up TMZ. Show me some names. Let me tell if I know. I'll tell you what they are. See if I know. Because I'm bad at names. I'm not up to here. Okay, Amanda Bynes. We, I know her. Amanda Bynes from Nickelodeon. 
Was she on Nickelodeon? Yes. Yeah. Oh. The Amanda Show. She got her eyebrows tattooed on. Oh my god, that's Amanda Bynes yeah, now. That's her. Yeah, dude. Oh. She's she's gone through it, man. That's not okay, huh? That's that Nickelodeon effect. Harvey Shoes was in range. There. That's the Amanda Bynes that we're all thinking about. That was the Amanda Bynes, yeah. (laughs) I know exactly what she looks like. Harvey, hit her up on TikTok or uh, Instagram. Hell no. Why not? She probably has no money. Okay, Beyonce. What are you you looking for, a sugar mama? Hell. Okay, now she has a conservatorship. I'm sure she still has money. Yeah, probably. Beyonce we know, but Mm -hmm. Beyonce called out by artist Hajime Soriyama. Jaime. Jaime Soriyama over Renaissance Visuals. Okay, there's no way that Beyonce did something like that, but let's go read what she claims. What'd she say? Beyonce might have fresh beef stewing with a famous artist who strongly insinuated she or someone on her team ripped off his work on her Renaissance tour. Oh, okay. Those I just look saw like the word AI I saw the word Renaissance, and I was like, here we go. Yeah. Sorry, the media has me programmed that every time I see something clickbaity, it's racial. You're, oh, well, and okay, I, so this, this is, is more This is more like the artistry. AI images that you can make that everyone's making they put your face in and they go this is you ai as an alien fighter this is you ai as a that yeah that's two different things yeah on the image that she, they're claiming what and I, because they're both wearing chrome Doesn't, because their cheeks are covered where else are you going to cover just there because it's it's the style all right what it else doesn't is, make sense. Right, what else is on we'll there? go quickly cops investigating ref brawl well we could well, that's cool could we watch a, that guess where <laughs> colorado could we watch that <laughs> no Do we watch it Play I it. love I play love it. watching play those play fights. Trip, uh, full, full. Oh, full. refs fighting each other. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full screen it. I was expecting a ref use, fighting so a family member. You probably put this in your video. Put it. Wait, go back. I can't. T- I, every time I look at some, I go to the guys going to the ground. I think they're refing the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a one on one and a one on one. Are those coaches or? Uh, we have one. Looks like one parents in the brawl. Yeah. Are they going to go at it again? That's yeah. like a hockey fight. Round two, round two. That guy can't ref. He doesn't have a ref shirt on. Oh, he... <laughs> Parents, stay out of the way. I was expecting it to be like a ref and a parent. Always. What was the next one? Kim and Croy. Divorce judge orders them to mediation. Who is Kim and Croy? Who the f- Thank you. They look, is like, that? they look like two people that have had it looks too much like a plastic Kardashian. injected into their face. What's wrong with his face? Kim... It looks unnatural. Zolciak and and Croy Bierman. Isn't that that guy that went to jail for house hunters or something? No idea. Oh, that's See, th- mean. This they put a wh- picture of him and his man tits in the morning. <laughs> this, this is what I'm talking about. The driver claims Grace hit actor in SUV. Who's Grace? Grace Jonathan who? Majors, oh, Jonathan- assault trial. Driver claims Grace hit actor. Who's Jonathan Majors? That's got to be him. See, again, we just quickly going by, we have no... Okay, so some lady named Grace. Hit some actor, and we should know who both of them are. Our baby girls here meet Amora Princess, Ciara, and Russell Williams. I only know... I know Ciara. Uh, you know, Russell Wilson is the quarterback for the Broncos. I was about and, to say, I know Russell Wilson. <laughs> and Ciara is... Uh, the singer. Yeah, she. what does she sing, though? No idea. I came in like a wreck. No. That's Miley Cyrus. Dif- different. Uh, okay, I don't know then. Uh, okay, here you go. Oh, just, no, I don't think we even need. To... Oh, I just read the title. I think we should just skip to the next one. <laughs> There's just too many words in that that I don't like. I just saw genocide in that one. Yeah, I was like, enough. nope. Mama June had another child. Do you even know who Mama June is? I don't think she had a child. It says, well, oh, divide no, no. Her ashes da- her daughter, after I... open casket funeral. Yeah, her daughter. Where'd you see she had another child? No, her ch- remember, Honey Boo Boo is yeah. Mama June's child. Remember yeah. Honey Boo Boo? Yeah, but this sister, her sister. This was her sister, yeah, her, her other sister, child. Yeah, her sister died. Oh, that's yeah, unfortunately. Mm. I think they Two called- chains. There you go. I recognize somebody. But he's out of the hospital. Oh, yeah, because he got into an accident in Miami. Yeah. He was involved in a car accident. But, I mean, do you see how, like, 90% of this? Live stream, PEE stream, hot mic during Elon chat. Oh, Elon and that guy that's not going to make it anywhere. Yeah, the uh, presidential. Yeah, Rashawn. Yeah. Did, you, did you watch that presidential debate? Debate, no. He's no. I just I would watch the SNL version, okay. and that gives me enough information he, I need. He definitely. We went down, found down that rabbit hole. But he, he that guy, he definitely, uh, 
his PR team was like, hey, we're going to go the Donald Trump route, mm-hmm. and you're just going to start fires. It's not working. It didn't no, go well. It didn't go well. It didn't go well. That's like every all. fighter trying to be Connor now. Every politician's trying to be Trump. They're the next big Yeah, they, they, they want to speak the truth, and we're going to just yeah. tell you every, all the truth. So anyway, the thought behind that is I, I was like, I just want to go out and see what, what the rest of the world is looking at. And I was... Sp- Scrolling, going. I have no idea what they're talking. About. <gasps> I have no idea what they're talking. About. Got a name for the show? Okay. Think Tank. I think that's a radio podcast. That's what you call a group of thoughts. We're kind of a group of thoughts. I mean, look at us. <laughs> Harvey's over here banging Amanda Bynes. <laughs> yeah, but he's banging today, Amanda Bynes. Not <laughs> still cool. <laughs> still cool. I bet she's still cool. She probably does. All the she good didn't shit. come out for doing she, for doing drugs or anything. She came out for like piercing her nose or something. No, for, no, for no, no, tattooing no. her eyebrows. She she was she walking, her eyebrows. Dude, she got she was like smashed on drugs, walking naked in oh, for Hollywood. A while. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. Yeah, woo-hoo. she's. You didn't have. That's to ruin why I said. It for that's me. why I said Sorry. she probably doesn't you have any honestly money. Didn't have to ruin the fantasy for her. Okay. Yeah, that's why I said she probably doesn't have any. No, money. No, she has a conservatorship. She, I know yeah. she has a conservatorship. Oh, thanks. Make it worse. Which is holding on to her money, which means you couldn't get any. Oh, that's sad. I liked Amanda Bynes. She was really pretty. Yeah, she was at one in, point. Uh, yeah, she was. I hope she becomes pretty again. It's it was that it's the Dan whatever the hell from Nickelodeon. Some guy messed her up. Yeah, dude, that guy that guy has I don't even know how many allegations from all the Nickelodeon childhood really? stars that are females. Ooh. Oh my who, god! Who who have all been like, we shouldn't have been on this show. He's from Neverland. Kind have, of have they? Yeah, have like they, dude, there's have they made it any actual court allegations? Uh, yeah, a is, few of them. Is there like anything happening with it? Uh, I mean, why do you check on that and then for the next yeah, episode, next we'll episode talk about come it. back Definitely. with that. They don't us. talk about so, you shouldn't. We shouldn't ever talk about somebody that we don't have. We don't have we don't any have, information. Have, yeah, if, no, because it's if you thought like you might have heard something, that's fine. But that's no, no. He that guy Dan Schrader or whatever. You have to say allegedly. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. say allegedly, but it wasn't we even know what the allegations. Yeah, we need to know exactly. Just find out what they are. Like there's a. Janet McCurdy, one of the girls from iCarly. Yeah. She has a whole book out. Yeah. Right? And in the book, it's talking about how her mom robbed her money and all that shit. Oh, and I she didn't has, hear about that. Yeah. And she has a whole section of that dude. And, like, all the, the shit they would do, the dude's, like, into foot play. So in all his the shows that he produced, he has these young girls with their feet on the camera. And they're doing, like, all this weird, kinky shit. Okay, you should read into this. Yeah, yeah you tell us all yeah, about 100%. it next time yeah, so back. we know for sure. Yeah, come back, come back with the stuff. Well, he, he, was oh. fired. he was fired from Nickelodeon and all we, that shit. Yeah, we're not going to get to GTA today. We'll no. get we'll get to it next time. Um, well, we, we have like a whole we, year to talk about it, so. We went, we went a little bit crazy on the AI, and then we went down TMZ. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. That's almost an hour. An hour. Yeah. Man. And I didn't swear once. And we're starting to trail and, and get a little loose. So That's going to do it. We're going to wrap it up. We will catch you guys next time on Fart Box. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> Think Tank. Fart Box is actually not bad. Fart Box? Yeah. Fart bo- no. Ass Chat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that's a hard no. It's called Fart Box. No, we can't go Fart Box. RV, RV. We don't need RV because we may not be in an RV forever. I don't want to pigeonhole us. Anyway, we'll come. The pigeonhole. The pigeonhole. They got pigeon races here. Pigeon they do. Bingo. On we Saturdays. Pigeons. We have like pigeons in here. <laughs> Saturdays at 2 o'clock, there's pigeon races. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Trevor O'Connor. Welcome to the pigeon. Random, <laughs> random as hell, you got Mike Tyson. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here for the pigeon. I'm here for the pigeon. Who's the pigeon? I'm here for the pigeon race. Oh, All by right, the way, guys, we'll see you on you, the next did, one. By the way, if someone sends you a link that says Floyd Mayweather died, don't D- click don't, on it. Don't open that. It's a guy. It's a, it's a, it goes to this thing called the San Francisco Chronicle, and there's a penis on it. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Anton. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>